Can you pull in the Leviathan with a fish hook, or tie down its tongue with a rope? Can you put a cord through its nose or pierce its jaw with a hook? Will it keep begging for mercy? Will it speak to you with gentle words? Will it make an agreement with you for you to take it as your slave for life? Can you make a pet of it like a bird or put it on a leash for your young woman in the house? Will traders barter for it? Will they divide it up amongst the merchants? Can you fill its hide with harpoons or fill its head with fishing spears? If you lay a hand on it, you will remember the struggle and never do it again. Any hope of subduing it is false. The mere sight of it is overpowering. No one is fierce enough to rouse it. Who then is able to stand against me? Who has a claim against me that I must pay? Everything under heaven belongs to me. I will not fail to speak of Leviathan's limbs, its strength, and its graceful form. Who can strip off its outer cloak? Who can penetrate its double coat of armor? Who dares open the doors of its mouth, ringed about with fearsome teeth? Its back has rows of shields tightly sealed together, each so close to the next. There is no air that can pass between. They are joined fast to one another. They cling together and cannot be parted. Its snorting throws out flashes of light. Its eyes are like rays of dawn. Flames stream from its mouth. Sparks of fire shoot out. Smoke pours from its nostrils as far as you can see from the boiling pot over burning reeds. Its breath sets coals ablaze. A flame darts from its mouth. Strength rises in its neck. Dismay goes before it. The folds of its flesh are tightly joined. They are firm and movable. Its chest is hard as a rock. When it rises up, the mighty are terrified. They retreat before its thrashing. The sword that reaches it has no effect. Nor does the spear or dart or javelin. Iron it treats like straw, and bronze like rotted wood. Arrows do not make it flee. Sling stones are like chaff to it. A club seems to it, but a piece of straw. It laughs at the rattling of the lance. Its undersides are jagged pot shreds, leaving a trail in the mud like a threatening sludge. It makes the depths churn like a boiling cauldron and stirs up the seas like a pot of ointment. He makes the path to shine after him. One would think the deep to be old and trite. Upon earth there is not his like that is made without fear. He beholds everything that is high. He is king over all the sons of pride. Effect sound in a beat.